G'day, I'm Ben Dobinson from Dobinson's. Uh, I take care of all the research and development uh, for our suspension and accessories. And I'm just gonna give you guys a quick rundown on our MRA shocks, um, some of the components in them, and uh, some of the materials and stuff we've gone with to really make sure that they're the best shock we can offer. So looking at the spring seats for our uh, strut type shocks. So again, T6, 6061 aluminum, um, all machined anodized, um, super strong, and gives us the adjustability as well to tweak the heights up and down where required. So the hoses that we run with are uh, Parker hoses, which we've been running with for a while now, so they've been fantastic. Um, with the MRA shocks, they're still a stainless steel braided rubber hose, and we've gone with another different design as well, which we developed in-house. Uh, on the, the shock, on the reservoir end itself, um, we've actually designed it a two axis fitting. So on the banjo fitting, we can have a, a swivel in this direction and we can also have a swivel in this direction. So that's something that just wasn't available on the market. It needed to be packaged in a small area. And, and the massive benefit of that is that we can really position the res and the adjusters exactly where we want them. So we can get nice access to them and you don't have any dramas with them hidden behind where you can't get to them. So that custom fitting, um, you can't buy it. We've developed it and uh, working with Parker, we've got some really nice hoses to, to make that work. So just running through a few of the other components, uh, floating piston, we revised that uh, probably 12 months, two years ago. And that's a CNC machine, 6061 aluminium. And again, getting that as light as possible um, to reduce the inertia during the shock movements um, and reducing the drag as much as we can. Uh, end caps and other components, again, they're all CNC machined as well from 6061 aluminium. Uh, we run redundancy seals on the reservoir end cap there, dual seals for the, for the gas section of the shock. Um, and that's just to ensure that there's no issues. Uh, so looking at the bushes uh, for, the, for the shocks, so we run a 100% natural rubber bush. Um, and basically, these, these bushes, they'll last the life of the shock. There's no need to service them. You don't get the, the noisy sort of vibrations and the noise that you get from the spherical bearing style shocks. So look at the oil we run. Uh, it's a Fuchs oil. Uh, we've been running it in our monotubes for, for years now. And it's basically a specific shock oil that we were chasing to give us the, the right viscosity index, the right viscosity at the temperatures we're chasing, and to give us the minimum amount of viscosity change across a large temperature range. 